so guys uh, today i'm going to cover very small topic that is uh, very important for any any project point of view for automation and interview point of view also what kind of question they might ask in a type of interview so how to take a screenshot okay whenever you want to take a screenshot you just need to call that method and that utility and then simple take the screenshot maybe at a time of error or any exceptions or something like that so very simple method is there let's create a class uh let's see my class name is screenshot handle select the main method and click on finish and uh, in this particular main method let's see we will open a site and then then we will take the screenshot so let's see i'm using this particular google chrome and uh, okay and i'm taking google.com going to google.com site and what i'm gonna do first i'll create one utility method so that i can call that particular method anytime whenever i want to take the screenshot okay so let's <clears throat> create one method public static or what i'll do i'll define this particular web driver at the global level at the class level so that i can access this driver instance anywhere so i'll write like this okay driver i've already it's okay instance like this and this is static because i'm using inside the main method and main method is also static so now my method name is let's see public static void i'll create a method mm, take screenshot okay and i'll in this particular screenshot method i'll pass a file name as well that what what is your file name let's see facebook.png or facebook underscore homepage dot png facebook login png or google dot png or jpg whatever right so i'll pass the file name and then on the basis of the file name my screenshot should be generated okay so my first target is always guys remember i have to take screenshot and then store it as a file format right so what we have to do we have first i'll use my driver but before using a driver what we have to do i have to convert this driver okay into take screenshot so take screenshot is an interface actually so take screenshot i have to typecast into take screenshot so i was i'm converting this driver into take screenshot interface and take screenshot interface is available in okay in selenium that is an interface take a screenshot you can see it over here and with this particular uh, okay reference what exactly i'm going to do there is a method dot get screenshot as is the method name so get screenshot as is the method name which will tell that okay it will accept one output type file object so what i have to do this is a standard thing guys what we have to do output dot sorry output type dot file because we want that we want an output which is file type so get a screenshot as method is saying that okay what kind of output you want to generate i want to generate with take a screenshot get a screenshot as this is a method and the output should be the file type right and obviously this method ultimately will return one file object so i'll store in some file object like like this file let's see is equal to this and this file is available where this file is available in java.io package so just import okay so i want an output which is file type so what we have to do first this get screenshot as method we have to convert our driver into take a screenshot interface and then we have to use this particular method so this is a syntax remember guys now the second task i have to do so in this particular task in this particular concept we just need to use 
two steps. First step is take a screenshot and store it as a file format. Right. Now, copy the screenshot. The second step is the copy the screenshot to desired location using copy file method. So how to do that? So what we have to do, we have one class that is called file utils class. So file utils dot one method is there. That method name is copy file. So file util is used to handle all the file handling point of view and folders and everything. So you can use this copy file okay from where to where so this particular file whatever that screenshot you have taken this file okay to this and destination file like where exactly you want to store your screenshot right so i want my screenshot to new file file object i'll create and i have to give the the location where exactly you want to generate your screenshot so i want to generate my screenshot somewhere let's see in this particular package only right so i'll go to properties and then I'll take this particular path right and uh, copy paste this is a thing now see see it carefully what I want after that take a screenshot uh, I'm gonna take but I want to generate my file name like this uh, Facebook underscore one or Google underscore one or Google underscore underscore two dot p jpg or png or whatever. So what I have to do, I have to append with this particular location, go to this particular location and then give the file path name. So let's see, this is a file name which will pass into this particular method. Okay, and append it what dot png we have to write. So append with dot or maybe let's see jpg like this okay dot jpg and let me do like this and then it will give you one suggestion that add throws declaration okay fine so this is the method i have created that i'll pass the file name i'll call this particular method i'll pass the file name it will take the screenshot and then after taking the screenshot it will store this particular screenshot in this particular location with this particular file name that you are passing so you have to up, up, uh, you know append string concatenation guys remember so file name whatever the file name i'm giving dot jpg will be added at the last and then this is the initial path will be there right so what i want i launch google.com let's say i launch facebook.com and then i'll call this particular method my method name is this is a static method no need to create the object so take screenshot is the method name and what is the file name let's say i'm giving the file name as in a string we have to give let's see facebook underscore login page okay so this is this and it's saying add throws declaration so add throws declaration as well okay so i'll just launch my google chrome and then i'll launch facebook.com and then i'll call this particular method with this particular okay the file name i want to give so it should come over here and then it will do this particular these two steps and facebook underscore login page dot jpg file should be created in this particular location now if you run this program so it should launch google chrome and facebook.com is getting opened and then program is over you can see program is over and we will see that are we getting any screenshot or not so so far not what we have to do we have to refresh this particular package so right click on it and then refresh okay did you get it uh, dot jpg dot jpg no okay let's refresh this project itself yeah see can you see that Selenium Facebook login dot jpg got created. So okay, okay, it appended with this also. So it's fine. 
so i'll go to this particular location okay and then we will try to open this or you can directly open this from here so if you see see facebook dot this particular jpg file the screenshot is getting generated over here right so this is the thing so let's see this is how we take the screenshot guys so why we have to check why we like see it's generating the file name as selenium sessions and then facebook underscore login dot jpg but we want this is the only file name facebook underscore login dot jpg so what i have to do we have to give this particular path okay one more slash we have to give right so now let's run it again and we will see opening facebook.com and the program is over and then we will refresh our project now you can see that facebook dot facebook underscore login dot jpg so let me delete this previous one okay now facebook login dot jpg got created right to store all the uh, screenshot we can create one package like this that uh, or maybe not package what i'll do under src main java um, i can create a folder my folder name is let's see screenshots right so that all the screenshots will be stored over here and uh, what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna give the path of this particular till here okay like this guys make sure that okay you are putting one more slash over here okay after the path file name whatever the file name and dot jpg let me delete this dot jpg and uh, let's run it again okay so let's refresh this right now it's blank refresh it and you will see one facebook login page dot jpg got created now tomorrow let's say you log in into the system right after logging into the system as well you come to the home page home page of facebook then again you can call this particular method so whenever this is a utility that we have created one simple function we have created is util and then what i'm going to do that every time whenever it is needed in any particular class simple i can call this particular method anywhere whenever you want to take a screenshot at a time of any error or whatever you just take the screenshot just call this method and pass the file name and you know that okay on which step i have to take the screenshot so just pass the appropriate file name right so let's say you want to create an account and after creating account it's coming on the account, uh, contact space so you can pass like contact underscore jpg or create contact dot jpg so whenever you have to take a screenshot you can call this particular method so this is all about taking the screenshot guys